So the main focus of this video is to look at some examples where we are given a quadratic graph and we know the vertex of the graph plus um, some additional information and we're going to use the information that we are given to find the equation of the quadratic graph. Now because we're given the vertex of the quadratic graph then we're going to be considering this from the point of view of the completed square form of the equation. And so the equation of the graph is going to be of the form a x plus p squared plus q. And because we can see in this example that the vertex of the graph is 2, 1, we can immediately see that p must be negative 2 and q must be 1. So we can use the other piece of information that we've been given here, which is that the, the y-intercept of the graph is y equals negative 19, and the y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. So we can substitute those values of x and y into our equation, and we get negative 19 equals a multiplied by negative 2 squared plus 1. So simplifying, negative 19 equals 4a plus 1, and then we can solve that to find our value of a. And so in this case, we get 4a equals negative 20. So our value of a must be negative 5. And therefore, the equation of this graph must be y equals negative 5 x take away 2 squared plus 1. And if we wanted to find that in another form, we could, of course, expand the bracket and simplify that. So here's some questions for you to try. There's four graphs here. Each graph, you are given the vertex of the graph and the y-intercept. And you need to find the equations of these graphs in completed square form. So have a go at these, pause the video at this point, and then once you've had a go, you can continue with the video and there'll be an explanation of each of these. So here's the uh, solution to the first one. So we can use the vertex, first of all, to see that the equation is y equals a, x minus two squared plus four, and that's because the vertex is at the point two, four. And then we can use the y-intercept um, by substituting um, y equals 12 and x equals 0 to get the value of a. And in this case, we get a equals 2. And therefore, the equation of this graph is y equals 2, x minus 2 squared plus 4. And here's a solution to the second one. Same method. And we end up with y equals 3, x plus 1 squared, take away 5. And for the third one, the correct answer is y equals negative 2, x plus 1 squared plus 3. And the final question, the solution is y equals negative 5, x take away 2 squared plus 1. And there's a summary of the solutions. 